Hello kids! Ngayon ay nasa week 3 na tayo ng Mathematics 6 with Mel, Divide, Simple Fractions, and Mixed Fractions. Pagkatapos ng lesson na ito, ikaw ay pinahasahan na makapag-divide ng Simple Fractions and Mixed Fractions. Ang pag-divide ng fraction ay simpleng pag-multiply lamang ng unang fraction sa ikalang fraction na inireciprocal. Ang reciprocal ng fraction ay pagpapalit ng pwesto ng numerator at ng denominator. Siguraduhin lang na ang dividend at ang inyong divisor ay laging nakasulat sa fractional form. Isimplify or reduce ito sa lowest term sa pamagitan ng cancellation method. Ilan sa mga example ng reciprocal ng fraction ay ang mga sumusunod. Halimbawa, tayo ay may 3 fifths. Paano natin gagawin itong reciprocal? Simple lamang. Pagpapalitin lang natin ang pwesto ng numerator na siyang magiging denominator at ang denominator natin na siyang magiging numerator. Another example, 2 sixths. Ang 2 ang magiging denominator at ang 6 ang ating magiging numerator. And last example, 1 fourth. So, ang ating 1 na magiging denominator at ang 4 natin ang ating magiging numerator. Gawin natin ngayon ang division of simple fractions. Example number 1. Find the quotient of 8 ninths and 2 thirds. So, ang pag-divide natin dito ay ang 8 ninths at ang 2 thirds. So, ang gagawin muna natin dito ay change the division sign to multiplication and get the reciprocal of the divisor of the Example, meron tayo 8 nines, ang divide natin ng 2 thirds. So, ang una natin gagawin, yung division sign natin, gagawin natin multiplication. Copy ang 8 nines at ang 2 thirds na ating ikalawang fraction, we will get the reciprocal. Then, if this will be 3 halves. So, pwede tayo mag-multiply, but first, alalahanin nyo yung ating process na nakarating linggo kung paano tayo nag-multiply. In this case, pwede tayo gumamit ng cancellation method. So, we can cancel 8 and 2, then divide these numbers by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 at 9, pwede rin natin i-cancel. So, ang 9 divided by 3 ay 3, at ang 3 divided by 3 ay 1. And we have the fraction of 1 third times 1 over 1. So, pwede na tayo mag-multiply. 4 times 1 is 4, and 3 times 1 is 3. Example number 2, find the quotient of 2 over 11 and 4 over 5. Change the division sign to multiplication and get the reciprocal of the divisor in the 2 elevenths divided by 4 fifths. Change the division sign to multiplication sign, then copy 2 elevenths. Then, get the reciprocal of 4 pips, which is 5 4. Then, cancel 2 and 4. Divide them both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, 1 11 times 5 halves equal to 1 times 5 is 5. And 11 times 2 is 22. And we have the answer of 5 over 22. You are now on your learning task 1. Find the quotient of the given fractions below. Write your solutions in your notebook. For number 1, 7 eighths divided by 3 fourths. Number 2, 7 sixths divided by 5 sixths. Number 3, 5 over 12 divided by 1 over 16. And for number 4, 12 Maaari nyo balikan yung ating mga naon ng video para maalala kung paano nyo i-divide ang fraction. Let us now learn how to divide mixed numbers. In dividing mixed numbers, you have to follow three steps. So, meron kayo tatlong paraan na dapat ang tandaan sa pag-divide ng mixed numbers. First, change mixed numbers to improper fractions. Let us say na ang ating ipag 
be divided 5 and 2 thirds divided by 2 and 4 fifths. Ang una muna natin gagawin yung proper fraction ay ang ating dividend, which is 5 and 2 thirds. So, paano natin ito gagawin? You have to multiply your denominator, 3, theta times natin sa 5, at ipa-plus natin sa 2. And that will be 3 times 5 plus 2 is equal to 17. Then, as you can see, pareho kayo na inyong denominator. So, you have 17 thirds. Then, the second one na di change into improper fraction ay ang ating divisor na 2 and 4 fifths. So, same process. You have to multiply the 5 in yung inyong denominator. Ita tayo nyo sa 2 at ipa-plus nyo sa 4 and that will be 14 fifths. Just the same. Pareho lang kayo ng inyong denominator. Second, get the reciprocal of the divisor and change division sign to multiplication. Pukuha ninyo lang yung reciprocal ng inyong divisor and mamaguhin ang division sign to multiplication. So, ganito yan. 17 third divided by 14 fifths. Ang 17 thirds nyo, kukopihin nyo lang. Ang 14 fifths na inyong divisor, yun na kukuha ninyo ng reciprocal na siyang magiging 5 14 Ang division sign ay magiging multiplication sign. And for our third step, multiply the numerators and denominators separately. 17 third times 5 14 So, ang ating numerator is 17 and 5. Una muna natin itong i-multiply and you will have 85. Then, susunod natin ang ating denominators, which are 3 and 14, and that will be 42. In this case, makikita ninyo na ang 85 na inyong numerator ay mas malaki kaysa sa inyong denominator na 42. So, gagawin nyo itong next number. So, ito ay magiging 2 and 1 over 42. So, paano nangyari na ang inyong sagot ay naging 2 and 1 over 42? So, ang inyong 85 na inyong numerator kanina, divide nyo lang sa 42. And 85 divided by 42 is 2. And 2 times 42 is 84. Then subtract and you have 1. Ang inyong 2 na inyong quotient ang magiging whole number. Ang inyong 1 na inyong remainder ang inyong magiging numerator. At ang 42 na inyong divisor ang inyong denominator. And you have 2 and 1 over 42. You are now on your learning task 2. Find the quotient of the given fractions below. Write your solution in your notebook. For number 1, 12 and 3 eighths divided by 2 and 3 fourths. Number 2, 9 and 2 fifths divided by 1 and 3 tenths. Number 3, 7 and 1 fourth divided by 1 and 7 eighths. Number 4, 8 and 5 6 divided by 2 and 1 fourth. Number 5, 5 and 4 7 divided by 2 and 10 over 21. Number 6, 12 and 5 8 divided by 3 and 19 24. Number 7, 7 and 5 6 divided by 3 and 1 half. And for number 8, 14 and 2 thirds divided by 2 and 2 ninths. For your reference, para mas matandaan mo, maaari niyong balikan ang ating pinag-aralan kanina lang. For learning task 3, solve the given problems. Write your solution in your notebook. Number 1, a cook has 2 and 3 fourths pounds of ground beef. How many quarter pound burgers can Number 2. A child needs to take 1 6 tablespoons of medicine per day in 4 equal doses. How much medicine is in each dose? Number 3. How many 5 6 cups of salt shakers can be filled from 24 cups of salt? 
Learning Task 4. Read each statement. Write the word true if the statement is correct. And if the statement is wrong, write the word that makes the statement incorrect in your notebook or answer sheet. Number 1. The denominator of any whole number is 1. Number 2. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, simply interchange the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. Number 3. There is no need to change the division sign into the division sign if you are going to divide fraction by another fraction. Number 4. There is always a need to write answers in simplest form. For number 5, in dividing fractions, you will need to get the reciprocal of the given divisor before you multiply the numerators and the denominators. Number 6, the reciprocal of 8 and 1 fourth is 8 fourth. Number 7, the product of 3 fourths and another fraction is 5 fourth, the other fraction is 3 fifths. And number 8, one half pizza will be divided among three pupils. Each pupil receives one sixth. Shop well done, kids. Tapos nyo ang ating week three.